Well, this unboxing is coming hot off the heels <laughs> of the anime foot sticker unboxing. I can't, I still, I'm still just, just there's so many, there's so much feet. Um, and we've got this box, which, oh, fuck, I meant, fuck, I missed it. So if you watch the other unboxing with the, the Wraith and that, I talk about the sewing kit and how I bought, I'm building a thing for my watch to make an elastic band for my watch because I don't make it for the Hawaii Honor 6. Anyway, here is the elastic ribbon that's exactly a half inch wide that I'll be able to make a wrist thing for it. So I bought a sewing kit and a little thingy things here, which should be perfect. So yeah, I bought a, a man, that's hard to stretch. I bought some Dritz half inch braided elastic. Didn't realize that was in the box. That's a weird weirdo. Now I can throw that on the ground and hopefully cats will come. Right here, actually, let's make a cat come. The cats just ran down the basement, so let's, let's make them not come up here. I gotta hide the wet food because Dan told me his cat will literally shit diarrhea shits everywhere if he eats wet food, which is a great excuse to hide the wet food. <sighs> We're letting out the Hennessy. He's only here for two weeks and he's already on my nerves so hard because he's this sort of cat. Okay. He's just gonna touch everything. Um, my battery charger died. Um, I had a AccuPower battery charger for like rechargeable double A's and triple A's and it didn't totally die. It's still usable, but about, I bought it apparently in 2014. So it's, it's eight years old and I've, you're not supposed to leave it plugged in. One of the things I read in the book, I remember it was don't leave it plugged in if you're not charging with it, but who the fuck's going to go and unplug and replug the charger if you're charging batteries every few days. So I leave it plugged in all the time. Don't you fucking dare. Don't. He's gonna do it. He's gonna fucking do it. I know he is. Don't. Play with the boxes. Anyway, so what happened was the third slot for batteries wouldn't charge. You put a battery in it, it would say, you know, charging, and then it would just drop, 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 hit zero, and just be stay at zero. And so instead of buying the exact same AccuPower, which is like 50 something dollars, Tenergy makes one that does up to a C cell, lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, and nickel cadmium. So it's got the same display, you could change the current, you could change the mode, it's the same features, just by Tenergy. This was like $32. Oh, she a big boy. She a big boy, that's what I said. I'm giving every battery charger gender representation here. That's annoying. They put the zip tie, they put a, a wire tie around it and they tucked the fucking tie into the, how do you even do that? To make it more difficult to unwrap. So that's heavy, man, holy shit. That's a heavy gauge wire. What are we looking at here? 12 volt, 3000 milliamps. So three amps at 12 volt, this is a beast. I gotta see what the other one is. This is huge, so this slides down. This is just spring loaded. Don't. Don't, what part of don't didn't you fucking get? Maybe Dan doesn't know this cat's name is don't. Wait, watch him rub his face on something and knock it off the fucking counter. That was my stomach. All right, come on. You're a big fluffums. You're too big and you're too curious. Like, here's the thing about Chewbacca. She was a perfect cat. She knew to stay on the ground. She knew when I was jacking off and did not to come bother me. She just didn't bother me. She did her own thing and it was great. And she, I did my thing and we, we, we slept together in the bed and we we're like, oh, we're so cute together. Blah, 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 la di da. This cat doesn't understand personal space. And the other cats in the basement that I'm trying to, to, to groom to be friendly, they're like, so if Chewbacca was like a perfect seven cat, like just enough cat, this cat's a fucking 11 cat. And the cats in the basement are like two or three. Anyway, so here is the one that I'm replacing. You can see I put an X there. So anyway, another one did the same thing where it just fails. So this AccuPower IQ328 runs off a three volt four amp. No, 
No, no. What? N no. Stop. I'm gonna let you jump in the garbage pail. He, stop, stop, no. Fushed, fushed. Do I gotta weigh you down? Like, a, I'm Italian, I know how to put you into like a fuck, I can move the food. Maybe he knows where the food is. Here, I have an anime girl sticker with feet. You want sticker feet? I just stick that on the top of his head. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Anyway, so here's the here's the old one. Here the new one. Uh, mode display current, current display mode. So, oh my God, completely different. This one just, no, stop. You're not allowed. I'm not to fucking get a spray bottle and spray him in the face. How does Dan live with you? Does Dan let you crawl through his whole fucking shit? I'm gonna walk over here, he wants to be near me. Anyway, so this would have, you put the th triple A's down there and angle it up and put the uh, double A's, no, here and it would go straight. And this one you use a spring so you can get even bigger batteries. You only do two C's at a time. You all think this is fucking cute, but I have to suffer 11 more days of this cat. And I can leave him locked up in the bedroom, bathroom, and office. Like that whole section, I can close off a wing of my house. But then I feel bad for him. The other cats obviously went skedaddling away in the last video. So it's like, hey, look, it's causing an AI foot. I have to, I have to, I have to spritz, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna spritz bottle the cat off the thing. He's gotta learn. This is like a disciplinary thing. Dan's way too nice to him. You off. Off. Okay. He got like a half squeeze. This is it. Disciplining your pussy with Zeos. Also available on Pornhub. Anyway. Oh, there's also an output for 5 volt. That's interesting. Yeah, this doesn't have that. I didn't even know that it had that. So the output five volt at one mil, so you could actually just use it to charge like a phone or something if you wanted to. Kind of nice. So yeah, so big old, big old honker, big old honker right there compared to the little old honker, which did serve me good for eight fucking years. And you could change the current. I always let it charge at the slowest rate, but if you were like in a rush, you're gonna pound it. Anyway, I also bought some Tenergy triple A's. Because I've been using Antelopes for years, but then Antelopes has gone through like different manufacturers, and I got a bunch of them that aren't holding up anymore. So I bought some Tenergies, the premium, don't throw one away, the Tenium Premium Pros, Tenergy Premium Pros. So these should, uh, these will go through cycle, because what I usually have is like my touch pads, like this Dell touchpad, takes two, and the keyboard takes two or three. I think I put regular alkalines in this because it's so, no wait, that was a USB charge. This is a USB charge. The other one I have is batteries. I just put regular alkalines in it because I stay in there for like eight, nine months and I'm not gonna waste rechargeables for eight or nine months. But the touch pads die like once a month at least. So, you actually get this charging right now. It's very deep. This is mildly annoying that it's this deep. Can I plug this in here? So now what happens or should happen? All right, so charge test, it just lit up, it says null. It shouldn't say null, it says, all right, so we can change the current. 500, 700, 1000, or 300. 300 is what we want. It's displaying the current voltage. They're all exactly at 1.28, 300 milliamp. And then we can put mo, oh, he's fucking up there. Off. You know what this is, right? Off. Down. Get off the counter. Get off, get off the... Get. Oh my god, he's gonna knock off my plants. What if he knocks over Revy? She's got a cigarette that's that big in her mouth. Get, there's a sword up here. Oh, he's gonna rub his face on her. Oh, I know, you're a good cat. You're a good cat. I'm trying to be as nice as I can without beating you. I don't want to beat here, look, play in the box. Boxes are fun, here look, look box, look box. Look box, box is gonna eat you. It'd be funny, if, if I put him under that box, you know what he would do? He would literally just walk around with the box. <sighs> I 
All right, I'm missing one a light. Anyway, where the fuck were we? I'm sorry, Posse, you have to watch me discipline pussy without you here. Um, battery charger is doing its thing. Just leave it alone. It's charging, I guess. Display. 1.3 volts, so it's, it's just gonna go up and eventually it'll just say full. It should just say full. Speak of the devil. Spritz the phone. Uh-oh, Pasta sent me a photo and the last photo was her Halloween getup. Aww, we'll cover faces. Matching mama and babies. Who doesn't love matching? Who doesn't love matching? I'm filming an unboxing, so I covered faces, but it's so cute. So cute. Anyway, I bought a um, eight port, 100, 10, 100. Why even, why even announce 10? Oh, it's only 100? It's and gigabit. Plus three port, wait, eight port, 10, 100, plus three port gigabit desktop. Is that why this was so cheap? Because it's not a full gigabit? Oh, you fuck. Oh, you fuck. So anyway, um, I've got a bunch of security cameras from Ubiquity, and I've got all the Ubiquity things that need PoE, which if you don't understand is power over ethernet. So you can't just plug it into your router. You have to plug it in usually to a, a box that has a, a Cat5 in and a Cat5 out, and then plug that into the wall so it can inject power into it. It's fucking annoying. So I went looking for a cheap, just thing that could inject power into the units that need power. Presumably like the big 4K cameras, I'd still have to use their separate ones because they're like, they generate so much heat. This only has 124 watts total for all eight ports. Um, but I think the little cameras, like I have four, four of the little cameras, and I think four of the little cameras will be easily, easily powered with this. The outdoor uh, 600 foot ones might also need their own separate ones, but I just, I can't, I don't have any more. So yeah, here's our uplink port, which is for fiber or for a card, you could add something. Kensington lock, two other uplinks here. I wish it would, it doesn't have them labeled, which ones are gigabit. But yeah, we've got extend on 1.4 or 1.8, one through eight, then off, then isolation, one through eight, then off, then recovery, one through eight. I have no idea what that means. POE status, link act, uplinks. Uh, it's unmanaged. I wanted to get an unmanaged switch too. Caution, read instructions before activating recovery. I have no idea what that means. I should probably read instructions. Really nicely built, little, little feet mounts. Takes a 50, this is a 53 and a half volt, 2.4 amp brick. You hear that cat? <laughs> Throw that away. Yeah, it's a monster brick. So now I'll have one monster brick instead of, and this thing, instead of multiple POEs. I know. You're not even phased by the fact that I'm spraying you with a hose. There's a water dish down there. Chewbacca's water dish is down there. Um, plug this in. Boom. So, you know, why do they put one protective corner piece here? To keep that shiny plastic shiny just a little bit. So now this will go in my basement on my rack and I should be able to plug most of my stuff into this and I gotta read what that camera, what that recovery thing does. And it should just feed power into my internet for things that need it. What else we got? Four little feet, which I'm sure they'll make it sound great. Gotta keep the isolation down so that my, the sound quality doesn't go down. Finally, can we get to the fucking interesting shit? So I have my Chris Vector here because I wasn't looking for, I, so uh, this is the light, that, this is actually smaller than I thought it would be. So we should probably open this up first because I might be disappointed. Um, this is an Olight Javelot Pro 2. Javelot? Javelot. Javelot Pro 2. And the, the purpose of me buying, I went looking for a flashlight, like a mag light, but then I'm like looking at mag lights and they're like underperforming and overpriced. And basically, the only place I need this light is from my front fucking door. That's ridiculous. Olight, by the way, is great because you got a USB and a little magnet clippy clip that does this. And that's how it charges. It just goes, and now it's charging. I wish my phone had something like that. I think you could add like the magnet, I think, to your phone, but it's never as good. Olights just do that. It's like the, there's... 
let me get to the point of this. When I walk to my fucking front door, before first use, please remove the protective film in the lens. Yeah, okay, there you go. Damn. This was the biggest LED flashlight I could find that wasn't stupid, that I could hit somebody with, that I'm gonna mount, stay, stay. I don't want to interact with the other cat. Stay, stay, right here. Put this light on, hold on. Right here, I want a light. I want to be able to open this door up, grab my light, and look at what the fuck's going on out there. It probably needs to be enabled or something. Or there's no battery installed. But I need a light that's right here that I could pick up and use to see what the fuck's out in the darkness. Every time as I was walking when the cats were out in the garage, I would like I had to like find a flashlight and go around. Ready for the nose? No. 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 Kick. Gentle kicks. God knows what this cat would do in my basement. He'd just get behind my wall of headphones and just be like, la 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 la. Well, the battery is in here. Or something's in here. Everything unscrews. Spritz. Get off. Get off. He'll learn. Oh. Oh, that's what I was doing. There was a little protective plastic to keep it from accidentally turning on. So this is the power brick then. So here's the head unit with a very nice fucking sharp as shit. That's what, that's what I like to see. I like to see a flashlight that if you shove it in someone's face, they bleed. And that's what you've got here. We've got our control unit. Um, if it works the same as my other Olight, it should be an instant press on and off and then a hold to change between brightnesses. And then have a couple other interesting features. So you could actually change out, this is all sealed, you have to unscrew this, but I guess you would just buy a new one of these and you could either have the charging base change out or the head change out. So if I held it and just put it on, it's a very spotlight too. I usually hate spotlights, but look at that. I don't know how the camera's picking that up, let me look. Oh yeah, that's like a, that, that's not even a one foot circle. There, that's a one foot circle. We're like super far away from that. So this is gonna be like, if I need to see something happening in the woods, 250 feet from my house. So now that's prop, that's probably midnight low. That's at the lowest it goes. Then it goes, yeah, one, one, two, three, and four. And that's just like a spotlight. That is a bright ass spotlight. And then off. And then wait, then low again. So it's hold to turn off. And it's hold or hold to turn off. So if I hold it, it turns on. And then you click through. So let's hold to turn off. Pressing it once does nothing but check the battery. Hold to turn on. And it will remember to be on the highest. I don't think this has like a, um, some of them have like when you double press, it'll go into like a flashy mode. I hate that. I didn't want it at all. So yeah, no, we can go point this out my door right now and see what Pasta's saying as she sits on a bed of anime feet. So cute. I agree. Actually, we'll go outside when I have both of these flashlights unboxed because in my um, journey to find this flashlight, which I don't, I'm not 100% sure that that beam, that's, that's a fucking spot beam. This is for looking at shit. I forget how many, this was like $209, by the way. This is for like looking at shit on a boat. That's why the grip is like super knurled. Like it's for, it's for being, this is for beating someone to death with it and looking at a boat a quarter mile away, which is fine for here. I gotta be careful putting this down, it doesn't damage my fucking countertop. Anyway, while I was searching for that, I found two other flashlights. The one didn't show up, which is gonna be our front grip replacement with a light built into it for my uh, Chris. But then I saw this one, and pasta, this one's called the Olight Archer, which actually reminds me of my favorite movie. One of my favorite movies is Jack Reacher with Tom Cruise. I don't care if he's five foot six. Jack Reacher, Tom Cruise, great. Second one, bullshit. First one, great. Um, and her name was Oline Archer and she was killed for reasons. You should go watch that movie. 
Um, this one, I just saw a picture of it and went, that looks like it's gonna be the most comfortable flash shot I've ever had. Thank you for being part of the Olight family. Well, your support is why we do this. Enjoy. Oh yeah. Oh, fuck. So just like every Olight, magnetic, really strong magnetic clip base in the bottom to charge. Uh, sometimes they'll have different voltages. So you can't just have one for all. In fact, if it doesn't match, holy fuck. This one matches, they're the same. I have like one for my gun, my pistol has one, and it's a different voltage, so they reverse the magnetic polarity. So you can't physically charge the wrong thing with it. It goes, uh, uh, but this one or this one will charge it because it says MCC one amp, 1.5, two amp. So they both have the same charging uh, wire, which means I only need to have one of them. And let's, let's look at this thing because it, it's just the shape. Oh. Look at that, look at that belt clip, it's so thick. Oh. Oh yeah, baby, look at this. Look at this, I just saw that fucking front, it's a square, it's like a rounded square. Oh, it feels so good to hold. I'm sure this has to be like unscrewed and redone as well. I'll have to read a fucking instruction manual. Damn it. All right. Client, congratulations. Before first use, press and hold the switch to unlock the product. Uh, please charge it fully before you turn it on directly via the USB magnetic charging thing. Maybe it needs to be like actually charged. It might be dead, dead. Hmm. Huh. All right. Well, I'm going to give this a charge and then we'll test this. We're not done with this unboxing yet. Zeo, don't forget to add the next set onto this. This thing is, this is the nicest fucking part. Put this shit in my pants and just be like, hold on everybody. Oh yeah. Oh. You know, this needs to be charged. All right, so burp, burp. All right, I wanna go show you about the charging lights for the OLEDs, for the uh, O-lights. Welcome to the office. So the big one, I had charging in here and it's still not showing charge, but on the other charger it says it's charged. But um, here's how it indicates. The actual, there you see how it turned green? Because when you, you uh, apply a voltage to it, it's like, mm, not done charging and it's charging. So when they just sit here, they're green. Now here's a difference. Okay, so I wanna show you about the Olight, Olight um, charging buttons. The magnetic buttons. So this one says Olight Special. And what that means is that if you have a unit that's not the special one, um, uh, it doesn't. It, it literally it doesn't. It it, it it wants to go backwards. Some polarities backwards, but you can't connect it, which is fucking cool. So this one came up charged. Um, here's another special one. No. Oh, and I wanted to show you this, the colors. It's green when it's not connected to something. And when it's charging, it's red. And if you take it off, it'll become green. So eventually, once it's fully charged according to whatever circuitry, that's fully charged. We're good to go. Sometimes it's, you take it off and reset it and it says, there, now it wants to charge some more. But um, we're damn close, because when I hit the button once on this, it shows four bars. So I've got the little guy here and the big guy here. So let's go out into the fucking dark, which I've had problems in the past with the GoPro filming flashlights because I had like the ISO limited, so it doesn't get all grainy. So let me stop the GoPro, check my ISO settings, and then we'll blow some shit up with lights. All right, so I allowed the ISO to go up to 6400. So, um, I guess we'll do this guy first. Hold down. Oof, Jesus Christ, that's a fucking beam. That's actually terrifyingly narrow. And that wasn't even the brightest. That's absurd. One, two, three. F okay, so the lowest. The lowest is almost not visible at the distance there. I don't know how far I'm from here to the 100 feet. The lowest, is, this is supposed to last like forever. This is perfectly fine for like looking for something over here. You got a decent like a glow around it. I don't prefer this style of beam for like working here. 
I want a super wide wash. But for the purposes of coming out here and going one, two, just fucking insane. Like, can I, that's so bright. How big is that circle? There's a door. So it's a bit bigger than half a door. Door is six foot eight. So that's probably like a four foot burn circle. It's the entire size of that. How far can I shoot this? Can I hit like a house? I don't want to hit my neighbor's house. Jesus Christ. Do you, are you seeing this? It's like a perfect cone of breath. Anyway, that's fucking, that's bizarre. That's a spotlight. I bought a spotlight. This thing is a spotlight. And I, I don't even know what I could, I guess I could shoot at the horses. Oh yeah, no, I could just light up the horses down there. Okay. And then the only problem is I'm gonna have to learn to hold to turn off and hold to turn on. So that's the big guy. Now here's the little guy, and this is a little more interesting. I'll shine it at the wall here first. Oh, one. So this is, oh, Swede's coming. What are you doing, Swede? He doesn't know I'm here. I don't wanna spook him. This one now, just to be inconsistent, is easy press on and off, and then hold to switch modes. So low, if you look at the shape of that, if you can even see it, it's the exact same shape of the flashlight. It's a fucking rounded edge square. And even on low, it does a decent job. It's filling up more than the door. But then you hold it down, two, three. That's a much bigger pattern. It has very little in the way of like the outside. It's just that square. It's a projector lens, essentially is what they say. So I I can see more. Oh, I can, I'm actually lighting up my like neighbors. That's fucking dumb. So this is essentially, I don't know which one I like better for out here, honestly. This is like a, this, this feels like a movie. <sighs> Look, you're only seeing, you're only seeing the narrow beam as opposed to this one. <sighs> where it's a much bigger cone. So yeah, at its brightest, which is what we're at here. This is much brighter than this. Holy Jesus. I'm going to fuck that up so many times. That's, that's my only concern is that I'm never going to remember to hold this to turn it off. And this one's just on, off, on, off. I'd rather have it this way. But this thing is sweet. This one was like 70 bucks. You cannot go wrong for 70 bucks. The only problem is if you, like, it only projects perfectly. Like, I'm lighting at the top of that tree over there. But I, like, if there's something in the driveway, you can't see it. You have to be pointing directly. This would be a good gun light mounted like vertically or horizontally. Because this is the way, you, you know, whatever's in that, if you get a shotgun, whatever's in that fucking square that's 10 feet high is going to get filled with fucking lead pellets. So yeah, by the way, these are both getting very hot. This one's getting certainly hot. It's got the glow in the dark in the back. So that goes in my back, the little holder I made, uh, came with. And this guy here, which I want to just press it to turn it on. And then I guess press, 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 press. I guess the third one, the third brightest one is fine. Let's walk out there and get rained on a little bit. One more. You know, that's, a, that's insanely bright. When you're along the ground here, the cone, you could see the cone. Let me see how the camera's picking this up. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's about that, that defined. Yeah, no, that's that's about accurate. I was worried the camera wasn't going to pick it up very well. So this one's barely, like, like it's doing something, but not really. Two would be if, like, I'm lost in the woods, I would never go higher than two because I want to save battery. But then three gets a little bit more, and then four is just intense. Four is a goddamn... Like, that's for pointing at jets. I literally don't have any place I could point this besides the sky. That's far enough away. But the back of my property is like a few hundred feet. Is my is my thing. That's yeah. That's a dummy. That's dummy thick. It's like the bat symbol. I get little, I'm I'm in the clouds. 
I could literally see myself hitting the clouds. That's that's ridiculous. Anyway, enough about flashlights. Thank you for coming to this unboxing. Maybe I'll actually review these since they did cost a pretty penny. So now it's just a matter of 3D printing a holder for this one. That can go right here. And then I'll just take it off to charge it every once in a while. Because it has a nice, boom, indicator. Indicator, and then on, low, medium. It's, it's, there's four sections, and that's the lowest one. And then off again. Nice.